Hello guys, today we try to see something very very important is how to search uh, stocks in industries, okay? So uh, you have heard and maybe you have seen a lot of times I speak about industries and stocks. We are going uh, to the chart and I will uh, explain to you how to use the chart in order to find uh, sectors, industries and then to go inside and find good industries and then after that you go to the industry itself with its own stocks and uh, and then you can find the stocks if they are good with the industry or they are better or they are uh, worse or lower than the industry index okay now uh, before we go uh, to, uh, to that I will try just uh, to explain to you how the market is structured in order just to get an idea okay when when you see online or in the news always they speak about sectors industries um, um, this is going up this is going down this is why okay a lot of a lot of confusion and most of the people they don't understand the simple basics of trading it means the, the, the very simplest thing. So I'm showing you uh, right now how uh, the market is structured. And then we can go to the chart and explain. Please uh, be patient. Uh, I don't know how, how much it will take, but it will be beneficial for you. And um, on Saturday at 9 p.m., I will have uh, my live session as always. For, for you guys who, uh, who come always, they know it. For those who don't know, uh, try just to come because in this um, uh, Saturday we try to see a lot of international markets like Indian market, Australian or English or South African or uh, South American uh, markets and we try to see uh, with you guys how things work. Okay, so let's go to the explanation first. Okay, so there is one company which is called Morningstar. Uh, some of you know this company, Morningstar. Now, what does this company do? Okay, it structures the market, the stock market. Okay, this is the stock market. Okay, when we say stock, okay, here I'm speaking uh, about equities, only stocks. It means companies. I'm not speaking about uh, uh, about other things. Okay, companies. Now, we have sectors. Let's say sector one. Okay, sector. And each sector has what we call industries. One, two, and three. Four, five, six. It could be uh, any 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 kind of industries. Okay, this is just to get an idea. Industries. Let's say this industry, it has ten or twelve or fifteen stocks. Okay, this is the structure. Now, when you go to my to the chart I'm using always. Whenever you find a stock, you will find its sector and then it's industry ender okay and all the market is structured like this sector here industries and stocks so whenever stock you find in the in the chart you will know which sector it belongs to and which industry it belongs to okay now there is there is an exception for this rule exception what is it this exception exception sometimes you don't find the sector you don't find the industry for a stock what, what is this stock it is an ipo ipo which is called initial public offering which is a new company that get listed so the people they don't they don't know about it and this morning star which is a company it will go later to this company after one year or two or three and it will Put it in the right sector and in right industry because it will study uh, what does it do uh, the earnings it will study everything and puts it in the right industry and in the right 
sector. Okay? So, hope this just make it easy for you to understand the market. Whenever you go to the market, whenever stock you have, it should have what we call sector, and then it belongs to, to an industry which is, um, um, uh, which is a brand of companies that they do that they do the same thing okay so let's go right now and i give you an example of uh, uh, sector and industries okay let's go to the chart now uh, for those who have never seen my uh, uh, my chart okay <clears throat> on the top you will uh, enter this blue bar here on the left side, top left side. Here you find a menu here, you click it. The menu, it gives you everything this chart has. You can scan, you can have the main component, you can see the industries only, you can see the ETFs, you can see mutual funds, you can see a lot of things. But let's go down here just to show you when you begin with the morning star that I spoke about. Okay. Morning industry groups. Okay. So this is what, what I talk about. The morning star industry groups. Or the morning star uh, sectors and industries. Let's say you see aerospace and defense. This is the sector. The big sector. It has only two industries. Now, if you click any, any of those, you will have the industry and its stocks, okay? But in the, in the sake of explanation, I told you that the energy sector or almost all the sectors are, in, uh, are going into a trend. So let's go to the energy sector, okay? Just to give you an example, because a lot of people, they, when I do... Um, when you do a video about Facebook and about uh, the move in the market, they ask me to give examples. Okay? Now, okay. This is what we call energy. This is the energy sector that I spoke about before, and I say it was uh, collapsing and it collapsed for one year or two, and then it goes up. We will see now. If you, if you click energy we go to a menu where we have all these six industries independent oil and gas industry major integrated oil and gas oil and gas drilling and exploration oil and gas equipment and services oil and gas pipeline oil and gas refining and marketing all these are industries but understand that the industries are not the same in, in terms of their trend or where they go. So let's go and click energy to see all these indexes and then we see stocks, okay? Click energy. Now, when you click energy, you will find the first one which is called uh, oil and gas refining and marketing, okay? This is just a, an industry and you see here that there is what? There is the sector which is called energy and this is an industry. Now, here you can't you can't uh, see the stocks because there are the, uh, the stocks all are here at the bottom, and they are mixed because we didn't we did not take one industry and its stocks. We take everything. We take all the energy sector. Now let's go and see how this industry is doing. The first one is called oil and gas refining uh, marketing. So let's go to see. So you see here, this what I what I spoke about these days, and they say there is a big trend. It's going up. Okay, this is what happened. The correction, if you if you remember, if you remember the correction that we spoke about in uh, in February, and the and the the market here was trending into a range, and then. It goes up into a trend. Now we see another one. 
energy, oil and gas pipelines. It it goes it goes a little bit, but it's not as good. Another one, oil and gas equipment and services. Now, when you see this, what does it mean for you? When you see, it means that the stocks in oil and gas equipment and services they are going up, but not all the stocks are good to buy and not all the stocks are bad okay so you should go and check now another one independent oil and gas you can see oil and gas drilling and exploration okay it doesn't go that much down but it goes up and then uh, it's it's is going strong and uh, another one which is major integrated oil and gas so these are the six industries that we speak about. Now, uh, we will take an example of oil and gas refining and marketing, and we see the stocks that are in, okay? So, from looking at the industries, you have a clear idea if this industry is a buy industry, yes or no. Who pushes the industries up and down? It is the most of the time the bigger hands in the market, which are the mutual funds. Now, the mutual funds, they choose which industries are going to buy. And then when, you, when they go to an industry, what they do, they choose also the stocks to buy. This clarifies all the mysteries that you have maybe in your mind. And you say, why an industry is going up good? Why my stock is going down and the industry is going up? You ask yourself. It's just because the mutual funds are not interested in your stock that you bought. But they are interested in another one. And then after one month, two months, six months, uh, one year, you see that that stock is doing 70% uh, profits, 100%, 200%, 300%, and you, you are keeping a loser. That's why swing trading is about to find nuggets in the gold mine. Okay? The gold, all the, all the gold mine, when you go to go gold mine, you find what we call um uh the vein the quartz vein that has gold and inside you find the gold you find nuggets or you find the small nugget small nuggets or you find uh, whatever okay so this is as you can see the the gold thing you will see uh, what we call the stock market it's the same thing now let's uh, just uh, e explain this into the uh, in just to put a diagram and explain to you and then we can go to an example and uh, like uh, like I said an example and we see the stocks in it okay so let's go to the uh, to the explanation <clears throat> okay so if we take the let's say here is energy just an example, okay? Energy sector. Let's say the mutual fund, they say, okay, uh, this energy sector was doing so bad, okay, in this uh, two months or three months, and it was doing good, then it was bad. Now, we should, let's say we should buy this sector. Now, the big mutual funds, they will see these, seven that we talk about seven industries just an example okay so we have seen that there are six or seven now and then they choose which one they are interested in for example they are interested in this one and in this one and in this one but the, but the other they are not interested that much so what they do let's say this is an industry it has many stocks Okay, mini stocks, you know, in industry, you can find 20, 30, 50, 100. It depends on each industry. What they do is they choose this stock. They choose that one. They choose this one. They choose this one. But 
they don't choose that one, they don't choose this one, they don't choose this one. Now what will happen? What will happen to these stocks? These four stocks, one, two, three, four, they begin, they begin to trend. Trend like this, trend going up and making profits. Now these are stocks that they don't, they don't put money in it, it means they don't buy. What will happen to them? These stocks, let's say they were, they were here in the past, these stocks will be going down. Okay? Now, why these stocks going up when this is down? It's just mutual funds. They put money in these four here. One, two, three, four. And they don't put money in the other stocks. It means they don't buy. If mutual funds, they don't buy, what will happen to the stock? Everybody who is here, everybody who bought this before, what they do, they begin to sell. They begin to sell and change their position to the good one. They begin to sell here. They go to the good one. Now, what will happen to the good one? They become stronger and stronger and stronger. Okay? This, this is how things work in the stock market. That's why. That's why, why the people are confused always. They don't know what to buy, what to sell, or when to find opportunities. It's just because you have no idea how to search. This is the only problem that you have. The search problem. Okay? Now, if the stocks are going up, this they were bought. Okay? They were bought. And I understand that here, here is uh, buyers, here is buyers, buyers, buyers. The more the people, they discover the trend, the more they buy. The best one are the people who buy at the beginning. The worst one are the people who are buying at the end. Because at the end it could be collapse. It could collapse at any moment after three months, six months, eight months, one year, one year and a half. And this trend collapse. Okay? But the other trends that the, P, the, the mutual fund doesn't... Uh, doesn't uh, doesn't buy what they do they collapse they collapse and they stop going up so this is a, you find this stock and this stock you find them in the same industry these are in the same industry but why this is going up and why this is going down so always you are asking yourself why it's just because if there are buyers, the trend continues, and if there are big buyers, the trend continues for long. Okay? If there is no mutual funds, or most of the mutual funds, they quit this stock, it will collapse. That's why you see a big company, a good company, but it collapses. And sometimes they know something bad about the company or there are bad news or something. They begin to sell, sell. All this is a sell. It means each week, each day, there is a sell, a sell, a sell. And the stock is going down. I have showed you before an example in the, um, in the Dow Jones. I have explained this very well. How the stock collapses, even if it is in blue ships. But... Uh, one stock, I think uh, it lost 50%. It was uh, $32 uh, and then it becomes 16 after after one year. Okay? 15% lost from this stock. So, this is just, you just begin to understand how the whole market moves. And you understand why these stocks go up why these stocks uh, go down, okay? And you, you just get an idea about it. So, let's now go to one of the industries. I will show you how to go to it. And then we try to see the stocks that are in. And if all the stocks are good, yes or no. Okay, this is just an idea. But, the day where to buy, okay, you should have the strategy. Okay, now, 
let's go to the chart okay so the chart here as you can see what we are looking for we are looking for this example oil and gas refining and marketing in energy sector what you should do you should go back to the menu here you should go to the energy energy sector as i showed you energy energy sector then you go directly to the one we are looking for which is oil and gas refining and marketing so we click that now when when you click that you will find the index which is this mg123 and it is energy sector oil and gas refining and marketing industry okay now let's get a look all this what you see here on the left side are the stocks that belong all these stocks it belongs to uh, to this uh, thing so let's go and check them one by one just to give you the idea and we try to compare them with the industry this is the industry and the other stocks so i will just um, uh, explain here so the industry what does it mean the industry index it is the average of all stocks belonging to that industry okay let's just explain before i uh, before we go one by one so so um so let's let's have an industry okay let's say this is the industry that we are looking for right now okay now the average of all stocks you, you know uh, how calculated how the average is calculated it's very uh, it's not uh, uh, you buy 100 shares from each uh, stock and you divide by the number of stocks uh, it has it has a number uh, it has a very complex uh, calculations but we are not interested in this com in these calculations what we are, what we are interested in is the average of all stocks in this industry all stocks but understand that when we say all the stocks we mean two things we mean the good ones and the bad ones okay we are we are speaking about these two so the, the two we get the average either it, it is a good stock or is it a medium stock or it is a bad stock okay a bad stock all these stocks average is what you get the index which is the price of the index price or index price okay now there are when you when uh, the stocks into this industry they form three uh, types so let's let's explain these uh, three types okay <clears throat> now the three types let's say let's say this is the industry okay let's say this is the industry the trend of the industry it was trending to a range and then it goes up okay so this is the index itself this is what it does okay now there are some stocks that are doing better than the index for example the index uh, from here to the bottom let's say it goes 50 percent profit just an example okay this is our profits now you find some good stocks that do better than the index and they are doing let's say let's say 90 percent profit 90 okay sorry for the number 90 percent so these stocks are called leaders it means it leads the industry now there are some stocks that are the same as the industry 
and they are doing 50%, it means the same. So this is number one, which are the leaders. Number two here, they do the same. And you will find that there are some stocks they do bad. Okay, they do bad. It means they go, they do below, below the 50%. Either, either they have a very low percentage. Let's say it is 5% or they are losing money, which is the same. Let's say they lose, uh, uh, let's say 15% or 10 or 20% or 50%, depending on the, on the stocks. Okay. So. We have the leaders, we have uh, the medium stocks, they do the same, and we have the bad stocks that they either they, they have a low profit or they lose uh, a lot of money. Okay, they lose a lot of money and these stocks are bad. And this what makes the what makes the uh, the index doesn't go that much, it goes 50%. But if if those stocks they were not there, all the stocks are going up. The the trend could be so strong. And understand that the trends uh, you will never know how much they will stay. It could stay one year. It could be one year and a half, two years. It could be six months. No one knows about these trends. Okay. Because, you know, it's a secret in the market. You will never know where this uh, mutual fund will be selling. Okay? So, at the end of the video, uh, this video, uh, we will go directly to the stocks. And we just see one, of the, uh, one after the other. And I am sorry for, uh, for those who are international traders. Since they are trading in their markets, they have their own industries they have their own uh, market industries and sectors they can do the same as i do okay and for uh, getting the uh, getting when to buy exactly you can see my strategies because my strategies are uh, for any market because it it, uh, it works on price it doesn't work on the on the companies what they do or or the policies or whatever whatever thing in the market or news because this thing is hidden the only thing you can know about all these trends is about looking at the chart there is no other way okay if the people for example in the market they speak about a big move or something how do you know when you see the chart it will be clear for you what's going on but unfortunately in the media, they speak about the thing when it is done. When the whole trends are going up and it is done, and then they begin to speak about it. So it is for you. It is so late, so you can't buy. If you buy at the end, you know what will happen to you. Okay? So uh, for you guys, on this uh, Saturday, we, are, we will be speaking about international uh, markets. We, are, we will be speaking about trends and uh, a lot of uh, industries please have your ideas have your questions and join us at 9 p.m eastern time okay so you can discuss okay so let's go to see the, the stocks that that we choose okay so this is the mg which is morning star one two three and the industry oil and gas refining and marketing As you can see, I, I pointed here that there is a trend. That's why I say there is a move. Let's go to the stocks. ANDV. So, ANDV has begun a long time ago. 1st of March. The stock was 91, now it is 116. Okay? PSX. PSX, you see, you see the trend that I'm speaking about? VLO, okay? VLO doesn't go that much down, 
and when it's go it's going up and going strong uh mpc okay this has has uh, has a very stronger trend another one now this is what i spoke about when i say there are some stocks that doesn't do good so if you compare this stock which is called musa you see that it is going down and you see the index going up you see the difference you see the difference are you going uh, are you going to buy the one that is going down or are you going to buy something that's going up this is what i am uh, this is what what i'm explaining and this is what i am teaching okay let's go to the others you see hfc how it is strong and you see the other how it is bad another one another one this has done uh, a little bit good and then it stops another one dk okay it was 31 now it is 46 what does it mean it's 50 percent uh, beginning from um, 9 february but uh, in order to in order to find these uh, stocks as i told you you should have strategy to follow another one now as you can see this stock which is wpz william partners uh, lp it is not as much good as the others a little better yes another one another one another one this has been into a trend but it goes down so it's not the same it's not doing the same as the industry uh this also it's not that good okay let's let's see this example it's ugp the stock was $25.92 in the end of January, in 25 January. It means before the market has its own correction, it has been going down, but it has not stopped going down. Okay, so some of you guys, when you buy a stock, if you put a stop loss, you should have been exit this trade before. For example, let's say you see this stock here you see it's going up and you bought it here i always use green line when i want to buy so this is the green line where you bought let's say you put a stop loss whatever stop loss is yours you can check training to see what what, what is this stop loss now if if the stock is not doing as expected it's not going up it's going down going down are you going to leave the stock going down and, and the stock will take all your money? Because from here to here, it's 50%. Let's say you put $10,000 here. After, uh, after two months, you will have only 5000 So you are a loser. This is because you don't, you, you have no discipline, whatever. Okay, you have no discipline. If a stock is going against you, you should get rid of it until it goes back. If it goes back, buy it again. Okay, but if it still continues going down, you are thinking that because this stock belongs to an industry that it is good, UGP. So you see this? You see? This here. The index, the whole index was going down because the whole market was going down. Most of the market was going down. This we understand. But we don't understand that when a stock like this one, UGP, continues to go down. And try to remember. Try to remember what, uh, what did I say. Okay. Try to remember when i explain to you that when a stock is not doing the same as an industry and it's going down you are just wasting your time 
wasting your money and a lot of people even the people who who do investing for one year two years three years if your investment you are still losing money weekly you are losing you are losing and you don't do nothing all your money is gone okay whatever the whatever you have heard online that this company is the best company in the world and it it does it does the best product in the world and it has 100 years uh, the test of the time whatever they tell you it will never make you money you are losing money stop stop following these stupid ideas that will lead to chaos you buy a stock and you are losing 50 percent what 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 are you waiting for are you waiting until you lose everything this is a type of gambling that the investor or the trader is not disciplined he doesn't know what he is doing that's why my job is to show you is you should do something to protect your money okay so let's uh, continue the chart just uh, we are nearly finished we see this stock is doing good it stops and it's going into a trend uh, this one also this one also this as you can see okay uh, from uh, where is january here yes yes here the small thing that you see here the small correction this stock has not seen a big correction as the index it's just small but it is going up so this stock is a winner it was this stock was nine now it is 12 so it is like uh, 35 uh, 33 percent uh, profit okay so this one typically typically is bad and gl and you see it has been going down also a long long time ago uh, from uh, uh, january 24 you see uh, uh, this thing happens always and you should be aware of it uh this stock is not doing as much you know you see it's going down going down there are short sellers so this stock is is a mess and the last one as you can see this stock okay okay see 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 where is this stock this stock is like from august 2016 it has been going down so some people if you if you didn't uh, exit this uh that will be a big a problem it's 20 dollars now it is three dollars okay so we are not going to be like these things but we want to uh, see good stocks and to buy them and to follow uh, this stuff okay so uh, this is a very clear description if you have ideas if you have something to tell please comment on this video and i urge you if you have time on saturday if god wills if you're still alive on saturday night at 9 p.m eastern time you can just come and hang out and we can uh, you can ask questions about stocks and like uh, like the other saturdays we do always good and we hang out discussing the stock market stocks and uh, industries and whatever whatever thing even we have we have spoken about what we call um the digital uh, cryptocurrency and uh, last week i make a video and they say is bitcoin is, is coming back it's it's going up and you know some people they bought some stuff and it's always very good to try things but whenever things is has finished the trend has finished and then the people they like what they see and they want to buy this this will never work okay and uh, uh, understand before we finish this video that i in my in my subscription i have added three training two about day trading and shorting stocks and the other one is about how to buy stocks from support line and this is the time to use this training because oh, everything is going up from the bottom okay and you can find a lot of stocks and you can make a lot of money 
uh, maybe in this year 2018. Thank you very much and please share my videos and subscribe if you don't and thank you very much.